Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where we cover how to estimate value at risk or VAR. VAR is one of the most important risk measures in financial markets, and it can be interpreted as a minimum loss that would be expected to occur over a given period of time. It can be measured either in currency units or percentage terms. And there are three commonly used methods for estimating VAR. The parametric or variance covariance method, the historical method, and the Monte Carlo method. Today we will cover the historical simulation method, which estimates VAR based on what actually happened. This is both an advantage and a disadvantage as it usually means the method cannot be dismissed for being unrealistic, but at the same time there is no certainty that history will repeat itself. In our example portfolio we have two stocks, A and B, with 80% invested in A and the remainder in B, and a total amount invested in our portfolio of 200,000. The first step is to extract the historical daily returns for the two stocks and calculate the portfolio return. We have 15 days here, but of course if possible we should use all the data that is available. The portfolio return is the weighted average of the individual returns. Therefore we take the weight in stock A and add absolute references to ensure this remains static. We multiply this by the return of stock A, and then add the weight in stock B, once again adding absolute references, and multiply this by the return of stock B. We can then drag this down. Next, we can calculate the VAR using the historical simulation method. First, we need to add the confidence intervals. We'll use the 99%, 95%, and 90% levels of confidence. In other words, we would like to calculate the complements, the 1%, 5%, and 10% VARs. To do this, we can use the percentile function, which can be used to return the nth percentile value in a range. For example, if we want to calculate the 5% VAR using the historical methods, then we want to extract the observation at the 5th percentile. Therefore, we type equals percentile, we select the range and add absolute references to ensure this remains static, and we then take 1 minus the level of confidence. We can then close brackets and multiply this by the amount invested. And once again, we make this static. Now, in order to make this figure positive, we can make it absolute. We can then drag this across. Therefore, the 5% VAR of our portfolio is close to 7,300 over a one day period. Therefore, around about 7,300 is the fifth percentile value. This is the minimum loss we would expect on 5% of trading days. So that's how you can estimate VAR using the historical simulation method, which estimates VAR based on the historical distribution. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.